Hi, this is Ray Rasmussen for Real Time with IPC, and I have a special guest this segment. Uh, it's Clyde Coombs. He is the uh, a long time, um, a long time HP um, engineer, mm -hmm. and also the famous uh, author of uh, the Printed Circuit Handbook. And we're here to talk about the next edition of the Printed Circuit Handbook that's coming up. But thank you, Clyde, for stopping by. Well, thank you for inviting me, Ray. This is always a pleasure. And and I, I, I learned so much of these things that the, yeah. the book benefits, I think, from this. Yeah. So tell us uh, what's going on. You got a, you're, you're, you've uh, been slated, uh, tasked to put this next edition of the book together. Tell us a little bit about the, the, the process that you're going to go through. What, what's this book going to look like and, and why is it valuable? Why is it needed? Okay, well, let me tell you how we got started. Uh, about a year and a half ago, the sixth edition, which is the present edition, got translated into Russian. And uh, uh, in discussing that with McGraw-Hill, they pointed out that the book is still considered the leading uh, reference, uh, technical reference in the, in the industry. And the Russians who were interested in developing a manufacturing, electronic manufacturing technology, felt the, the book was uh, represented a, a, a way of helping the printed circuit industry, which was the base for electronics. And based on that, then, would I be interested in another edition since the, the book is obviously so valuable? And I hadn't given that a whole lot of thought because the, the industry has shifted so much the fabrication to the Far East. And as we, as we uh, looked at uh, who was buying the book, I went online and uh, at the sites that are actually selling the book, they also have reviews by people who are buying the book. And more and more people are uh, people who are not necessarily printed circuit professionals, but they are professionals who have to deal with printed circuits. Right. And so, uh, so basically they were saying that in order for them to do their jobs effectively, they need to know something about printed circuits. And so they bought the book, and uh, one one person from Minneapolis, I'll have to send him a copy, I guess, for the new edition, said that uh, he got a job that needed knowledge of printed circuits. He didn't have any knowledge of printed circuits. Bought a copy of the book, and now people think he had years of experience. <laughs> yeah. And I said, okay, we achieved our objective. And so I think so. More and more uh, of the books are being purchased by people like that. Although we still find it in shops, but there's not that many shops anymore. Right. And, uh, and so much of the work that's being done in the Far East. So th this particular uh, edition, we said, well, what we need to do for a book published in English is talk to the people in North America and Europe who, uh, who are working with printed circuits, but they're more concerned about the development of the printed circuit and then sourcing them in a way that matches their needs with the, with the, with the capabilities of the supplier and then know that, that this is gonna work at effectively and, and efficiently and then when they get the board, that is in fact what they ask for. Right. And so we're trying to make these people into, uh, give them resources, that is, to, uh, to be effective in their jobs and, and uh, uh, re reduce the opportunity for mistakes uh, and uh, redos and, and basically, uh, uh, there, are, there are books out there on supply chain management, so we're not a supply chain management uh, book, but we're, we're talking about managing the elements of the printed circuit right. supply so that you you work on uh, get what you want in front of the printer, right. and so this will be the seventh edition. And for that, that'll be about uh, twenty plus percent brand new chapters, and uh, the rest of the book will probably have uh, over total over three quarters of chapters will have some new material, either bringing the, the technology which has changed since the last edition, bringing it up to date, plus some comments on how do you. Uh, what questions do you ask about this particular technology when you're talking to somebody who's going to fabricate or assemble your board? So what questions do you ask, what actions do you take in order to be successful? And, and the more McGraw Hill thought about that, the more they liked it. So that's the book that they've agreed to, <laughs> to right. publish, and that's agreed, the book we've agreed to supply them. So um, with the 20% new, what do you think, uh, what are you thinking is going to be added to this, this book? Well, what we're talking about is uh, uh, basically how do you decide uh, who, who the right source is going to okay. be because as, uh, there, are, there are all sorts of capabilities which uh, worked in, in one case won't work in another right. and and uh, like this guy in Minneapolis basically he didn't know what questions to ask right. and so we're going we're going to help supply a, uh, a, a process that allows these people 
to look at the, at the ask the right questions to see about process control to see about about their their uh, inspection and so looking at a lot of these processes from a from I'm not going to do it myself. I'm going to have somebody else do it. Sure. So what questions do I ask to make sure they can do it? And then, so those are, are not process chapters per se. Uh, the process chapters will still be there, but they'll be talking about the processes and not about how do you deal with customers or yeah. with suppliers, I mean. Right, and so as you said earlier, it's a really more OEM focus on this book. Right. Instead, of, right. instead of for people trying to learn how to put a circuit board fabric uh, factory together, it's more right. about the the guys trying to buy circuit boards so they can get some basic knowledge and, like you say, make some good decisions. Yeah, one of the one of the reviewers uh, was quite upset uh, with the book he bought because he said, if you want to set up a manufacturing uh, facility for printed circuits and impress your banker with how much you know, this is the book for you. Mm -hmm. But if you just want to learn how to design a board, yeah. you know, this is not, not the right one. Well, I said, well, that's right. I didn't. This is not a design manual. <laughs> right. But uh, we're going to we're going to be adding some more design uh, information so that uh, you, you have you can, the. the you can work with the designers so that they work more seamlessly into the supply chain right. and, uh, and don't ask for things that are unreasonable. Or if they're unreasonable, how do you then go find somebody who is willing to do unreasonable things but can in fact do it? Right. So tell me this then: what um, what do you need from the industry? What would you like to what would you like to see from people? You're looking for more participation. You're looking for people to review review chapters, new ideas. What? Well. Uh, we pretty much uh, have the author. The author, it's a handbook, so it's really uh, facts, information, processes, uh, no opinion. Uh, uh, and we've, we've lined up over the years uh, experts in the field on, as far as process is concerned. And so what we're saying is this, this whole question of, of, the, of, of dealing with between the designer to the fabricator assembler back to the designer is a process mm -hmm. and this is what we want to talk about and so we, we, we I think we have a, a, a fairly good uh, list of, of contributors okay. and uh, some of the, uh, the, the existing chapters need to be updated uh, and the existing authors are retired or are no longer in the industry and we're replacing them but basically uh, for people with enthusiasm I, I say the number one uh, um, criteria for selecting an author is enthusiasm for the project. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of people who are, who are very good at what they do, but they're so busy they just can't get into writing and doing a chapter for yeah. the book. That's fine, uh, but I'm, I'm looking for somebody who thinks, I have an opportunity to make a real contribution here and I'm, I'm going to seize it and go with it. And, right. and so uh, a lot of times uh, you know, people say, this is my opportunity to, to get known. And, and so. So it's uh, it's it's been a lot of fun too. I, I find that doing these books brings me in contact with a new generation mm -hmm. of uh, printed circuit technologists who are just top notch. I walk around the floor talking to people, and I think, boy, these people really are pretty good. And and it's nice to see that the the, the, uh, the industry has got people coming in who uh, are are professional and knowledgeable, and it's it's going to do well. I think. When did you, per, when, just for our, our audience sake, when did you publish the first one? first one came out in 1967. 1967. It was uh, 16 chapters and 11 authors. Uh, it was the first time that uh, plating, for example, had been discussed as a chemistry mm -hmm. as opposed to an art. And uh, also there were five chapters on soldering. I showed him my father, who was an engineer, and he said, I didn't know that much to say about soldering. Mm -hmm. Well, there is, as if you look at metallurgy and, and uh, doing a quality job. Uh, over the years, as the, te as the technology has grown, the second edition talked about, uh, included multilayer as a new technology, and, uh, and we increased, uh, and the third edition talked about surface mount. Okay. Um, more recently, we had uh, HDI, we couldn't do the same thing in the same way, only smaller. We had to do different things and, and do things differently. And that was a total revolution in the industry. Now, we, the, the sixth edition focused on lead-free, which, uh, you, however one thinks about it, it was a good idea or a bad idea. It was a fact of life, and you had to live with it. Well, what do you do? What, what, given the fact you have to live with it, we tried to help you understand what your options were and what to do with it. And, uh, and so, uh, now we're up to, 
I think the sixth edition now has 65 chapters versus 16 and has uh, 47 authors versus the 11. So uh, it's grown as the industry has grown and, and it's, uh, it's been a, uh, uh, from my point of view, just a lot of fun being involved in the, in the evolution of the, of, of the industry from, from an art into a, a yeah. technology. So when do we see the book? When's it going to be out? Well, we, uh, McGraw-Hill is expecting the finished product from us the first of the year and okay. we'll probably about six months later. So maybe yeah. a little over a year, maybe 14, 16 months from okay. now. And if people want to get a hold of you, how can they reach you? How would you like, uh, how would you like to be contacted? Oh, well, um, I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, for okay. one thing, and uh, Clyde Coons. Yeah, it's just that simple. All right, wonderful. Well, Clyde, thank you for stopping well, by. Thank you. Congratulations on the book. Uh, we're uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for the industry that we have you still around to to take care of us. Well, it's a lot of fun. Good. It's just a lot of fun. And, and uh, as I, the, the thing about these these chapters is the authors and I form little teams on these yeah. chapters, and so uh, it, it 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 gets me not only involved, but I really understand, and then form friendships that last for a yeah. long time. And I really admire these people. It's the authors that, uh, that are, have made the book so, uh, so uh, successful. Uh, I, I do the table of contents and then bring the authors together and make sure it works, but, but basically it's a collaborative thing yeah. with the authors. And the... Well, thanks again for doing that. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you, Ray. Uh, again, I've been speaking with Clyde Coombs, the author of The Printed Circuit Handbook, and I'm Ray Rasmussen for Real Time with uh, IPC. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.